Hi guys, big news. I have resigned from my job, a job in which I do DevOps, so a lot of AWS and, um, and Golang. So last night, I thought I should share my AWS SDK knowledge with the local user group here at the Gophers Meetup. And you can find the recording here. I'll link it in the description. I thought the video I could do today would maybe share a little bit about my, my Vim configuration and my workflow. I am using um, NeoVim with these uh, plugins. And the most contentious one to me is perhaps uh, Deoplete because when you bind control X, control O, Omnicomplete to tab, things get a bit weird. So I would love your guys' feedback about um, how to do this. So let me just show you how my workflow looks like. I actually made a recording. I don't know if I can speed this up. But when you can move from the AWS SDK V1 to V2, um, as you can see here, you use a different configuration. It's a little bit better because it uses AWS profiles. See on my left here, I'm using DWM uh, window where I can control F around. Um, basically, what you do is you remove the, the pointers uh, on, on, uh, on maps and slices because in V2, they're not needed anymore. And some, the actions now become requests. So it took me seven minutes to update this one file. And as you can see, I am to making a change, whatever that may be, and saving the file, uh, shift ZZ, and then running go test to figure out where the next thing is. So perhaps that's a little efficient. So the next time I did it, uh, I'm actually now showing my keys. The next time I did it, I did it with this um, leader B, um, what do you call it, bind? What is the leader B here? So now, so now I, I can stay in the editor without quitting and going back. And I think that's a bit better. Unfortunately, when I have my show keys running, you can't clearly see the bottom there anymore. Um, I do find it awkward that you have to like go control W, W and switch between the windows and then, um, yeah, obviously the show, the show keys was quite distracting to me because I couldn't read what the, um, what the, uh, what do you call it? The show list, the error list was. So it did slow me down a bit. Let's see if I can find something else interesting to talk about. Yeah. Just removing the reference of stuff, pointer thing. Um, I'm very curious to know how you guys edit. I think I was very confused by this message here because it didn't relate to what line number I was on. ZZ, by the way, also centers the line. I used that a few times. That this thing here is deoplete, and when you when you're typing, uh, you, I guess you go dot, and it sort of completes. Then you have to go like down and enter. And I find the highlighting is a bit weird. It's like the bright color is not what's selected; the dark color is what's selected. See, is that? Oh, I don't use it. I don't use it. Anyway, that's deoplete. Often I find that sometimes deoplete just stops working for whatever reason. And I and I res and I go back to control XO, but it doesn't happen in this case. So, I mean, I, I I'm no knowing what I'm doing here. So, a second time round, it would have been faster in any case. Yep. So, where do I think things could be improved? Oh, in this example, I should probably use Dynamo expression builder and things like this instead of uh, this thing up here. Uh, yeah. I finally just want to go test again. Everything works. Yeah, so enough of that. Is that efficient use of Vimgo? Um, do you use Deoplete? What do you use for Omni completion? I'm really curious to, to hear from you guys. I hoped, 
I'll, I'll, I'll link um, my my workflow uh, video in in its complete form so you can watch it. Um, but otherwise, um, can it be improved? I'm I'm really keen to learn how to you know edit as quickly as Francesco does with Visual Studio Code. I mean, Visual Studio Code Code is good, but Microsoft and and let's be honest, it, it, it is a bit sluggish. I find it a bit sluggish compared to Vim Go. So I want to stick to Vim, which I've been doing for years and years, but I want to make it as efficient as possible. Tell me how, what, and if, if anything I can do can be made better. Thanks for watching. And well, yes, it is true. I resigned and I am going to do stuff with Golang. I am going to do stuff with uh, AWS SDK. I want to do, a me, myself, and I project. So I will be announcing um, what I'm doing next. Uh, and hopefully the videos will get back on track to, uh, to being a little bit more entrepreneurial instead of working for people. Um, yeah, okay. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching and give the video a like.